Everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz coming at you with another video. Our emphasis today is success principle number 12 by Napoleon Hill teamwork. We have covered the first 11 principles of success as advocated by Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Go Rich, and also in his book, um, The Laws of Success. Check out the other principles. Principle one, which is setting a goal of, of having a purpose. Having a definite chief aim. Many, many people fall short of their goals or their desires for the simple fact that they don't have a, a definite chief aim. They don't have a definite purpose. They don't have something that they're working towards. So the first principle in these 16 that we're going to go over, the first one is having a chief aim, a major purpose. So check out number one, principle number one, and go from principle number one up to this principle here. Check out the playlist. It'll be in the It'll be on the um, screen down below. So hit that playlist when we when you see the video and check out the other 11 principles. For those who are not familiar with Napoleon Hill, he was a student of prosperity, a student of success, and he wanted to know why some people are successful, some people are not successful. And he began to study the successful people of his time. And one of the main ones he studied under was Andrew Carnegie. And by conversing and studying with Andrew Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie gave him access to other very successful men, Henry Ford, uh, and many others. So these success principles written in the 1930s have been proven to be sound success principles no matter what field you're in, no matter what your interest, in order to be successful, you have to apply these principles on some level. So we want to look at number 12, teamwork. And Napoleon Hill defines teamwork as the willing cooperation cooperation and coordination of effort to achieve a common goal. So this teamwork, the willing cooperation and coordination of effort up to achieve a common goal. So that also ties in with the Mastermind Alliance, which is the second principle, the so second success principle. When you form a mastermind alliance with another person, at least two people working together for a common goal, you coordinate, you cooperate, because the, your alliance, you have an alliance, you're working toward a goal, so you, you, have, to co you have to cooperate. So cooperation is also part of that mastermind alliance. Teamwork. A mastermind alliance in is teamwork. So all the principles tie in, they all build up build on each other. So teamwork is the willing cooperation and coordination of effort to achieve a common goal. Teamwork is sharing a part of what you have, an idea, etc., a part that is good with others. Now, we said that teamwork and the mastermind tie in together. 
But although they tie in together, there are differences between teamwork and a mastermind. He says, teamwork differs from the mastermind principle in that it is based on coordinated effort without necessarily embracing the principle of definite purpose or the principle of absolute harmony, both of which are essential to a mastermind alliance. So in a mastermind alliance, there's teamwork, but that teamwork is a little deeper, a little stronger. The bond between two people with a mastermind alliance is stronger than just two people who team up with something. So people with a mastermind alliance, two people or more with a mastermind alliance, a mastermind alliance can be many, infinite number of people, but at least two. So with a mastermind alliance, you have to embrace the principle of definite purpose and the principle of absolute harmony. So you have to have your, you, you and the person you are the people that you and form that mastermind alliance with, your chief aim, definite purpose has to be the same. You have to be, you have to be in harmony with that person's chief aim and definite purpose. Also, you should be in harmony with their goals to achieve, to reach that definite, that chief aim. So there's a principle of absolute harmony. So you have to be in harmony with that principle. But if you just form a uh, teamwork, with, you just teaming up with someone, you don't have to have all of that. You don't have to be on board with their absolute aim or their, their chief aim. You don't have to be on board everything you don't have to uh be in harmony with everything but you're just teaming up with teaming up for that one specific thing but you still have to be you it still has to be willing cooperation and coordination of effort to achieve a common goal once again teamwork is sharing a part of what you have a part that is good with others And we'll go over the, the uh, second part one more time. Teamwork differs from the mastermind principle and that it is based on coordination of effort without necessarily embracing the principle of definite of purpose. Are the principle of absolute harmony, both of which are essential to a mastermind alliance. Also, a quote, there's a quote from Napoleon Hill, Harmonious cooperation is a priceless asset which you can acquire in proportion to your giving. So we're going to leave you with this principle, the principle of teamwork. Teamwork, there's no way you can have success in any business or any church. If you're, if you're a minister and you're developing a church, if you are an imam and you're developing a mosque, if you're a um, Buddhist monk and you're over a temple or priest over a synagogue, are an executive CEO over a big 500, 500 uh, Fortune 500 corporation. You have to be able to get teamwork. You have to have you have to have teamwork with the people that you're involved with. People have to work together in ma in, in, in manufacturing plants. There's a level of teamwork necessary for that plant to succeed. So teamwork is necessary on every level, even a school at, at the school. You have to have teamwork. Teachers have to be able to work together on some level in order for the school to run successfully. Your house, your home has to have, your husband and wife have to be a team, have to work together on a level, a high level, in order for the home to function on a high level. If the home is functioning on a lower level, that means the teamwork between the spouse, spouses is not good. It's not harmonious. 
Because actually, husband and wife should be a mastermind. They should think as one. So, until next time, we encourage you to like the video. As always, share the video. Make a comment. Let us know what you like about the video what you don't like. Make a comment on the video. Hit the like button if you haven't. I mean, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. We try to do a video, two or three videos a week. Sometimes we do uh, more than that, but we try to at least do two to three videos a week. Our videos uh, range from success principles to health principles. We believe that health, wealth, and success are all part of living an optimal life. So if you want to live an optimal life, you have to be physically healthy, mentally, or psychically healthy, or emotionally healthy, and spiritually healthy. Your physical life, you have to uh, have to be in good shape, your mental, your mind has to be in good shape, and your spiritual life has to be in good shape. And your physical, your physical, your your money has to be right. So all of that is necessary to live an optimal life. Because if you're spiritually developed and you're a very spiritual person, but you can't take care of yourself, you're really relying on the hand out of others, then you are not really the human being that you should be. Because the prophets, all of the prophets were able to live in the world, react and move in the world, have families, have means of taking care of their families. So they had, and they were physically healthy. So they had physical health, they had, they had mental health. They were involved in the, with, with others in the society. They weren't recluse. Jesus had companions. Muhammad had companions. Moses had companions. Abraham had family, had companions. So they were involved in society. So they were physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially sound. So that's to be an optimal human being, you have to have that or uh, strive towards that. Because a lot of times you, you may not be at a certain level, but you should be striving to that level always until you die. You should be striving to be an optimal human being. That's not being a superhuman being. That is being a, hu a human being. So God, God calls us to be successful and to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. To seek knowledge, not just knowledge to uh, heighten our mental factors, but knowledge to be physically healthy, knowledge to be spiritually healthy, and knowledge to have more finances, because you need money. We live in a material world, and those we on this material plane, we need money. So money is important, eating health is important, being spiritually enlightened, in touch with God, in touch with the Creator, that's important. All that's important. All of that makes us a well-rounded human being. So check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Spotify. Check the uh, Sacred Life Connections slash New Mind, uh, Man Means Mind podcast on Spotify and everywhere you get your, uh, any or everywhere you get your podcast from. So check out the podcast, check out the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and always like the videos, share the videos. So until next time, know that you are who you think you are. So to say that I am that I am. I am what I think I am. So if you want to be successful, think of yourself as being successful. I am successful. I am prosperous. I am healthy. I am wealthy. So until next time, know that man means mind. I think it, therefore I am. And so we'll see you on the next video.
on the next blog. So peace and love. We're out.